and we're underway. Oh. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, short arm shot. Trap the arm. The last time we saw this superstar compete, we witnessed what many are calling a potential match of the year candidate. And I can't say that I disagree. match does end up taking home the match of the year at the Slammys this year, it would be joining some incredible companies such as John Cena versus The Rock in 2013 and Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart in 1997. Both great matches for sure and both very deserving of the match of the year Slammy. But when I think of the Slammys this year, I just hope they bring back the most regrettable attire of the year award so that you can finally win something, Saxton. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. He's making a statement here with this attack. Two. What does Buzz have in store? Buster. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing... Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Now watch the Northern Lights! Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way! Flexes. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Ooh. He's not looking like himself here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Short arm chop. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, what impact. Oh, close line. Right across the back of the neck. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent, Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up. 
The ref wasn't finished. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Following an amazing performance in that last match, I'd say this superstar comes into tonight with a ton of momentum. Oh boy, he is rolling. Man, let the ref do his job. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're gonna about to find out. He's gonna do it. Buster. Raw's fans have plenty to worry about here. What does Buzz have in store? Powerbomb. Raw's fans have plenty to worry about here. There's no shortage of momentum heading into this match tonight, as Byron was saying earlier. But Corey, I'd be interested in your take on just how important momentum really is. Well, it's better to have momentum than to not, but I think a lot of times the importance of having momentum is a little overblown. In reality, it all depends on who you're in the ring with. I mean, if you beat 10 Ham and Eggers, you have momentum, but all that momentum means nothing if your 11th match is against an all-time great. He's done it and stands tall over his competition. Let's take another look at the incredible hardcore action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, the superstar, Kenny Wonderful, the Predator. That's an impressive win right there. Seth Rollins can't be pleased with his performance here tonight. He won't be. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.